The job of Florida's Department of Environmental Protection is right in their name. They protect the environment. But I-Team investigator Michael George found some of their own recently fired employees say the agency is failing Florida and its environment. Marilyn Koletsky was an engineer for the Department of Environmental Protection. Four months ago, she was fired for poor performance, according to this personnel file. But she claims it was actually for speaking out against changes at the agency. Anyone who was involved in any kind of enforcement case was pressured to step back or leave. Koletsky claims under Governor Scott, good employees are being fired or forced out in order to weaken the agency's environmental regulation of businesses. Slaughterhouse, really, is how it felt because you just didn't know where, where the target was going to be next. In Tampa's office alone, 25 employees were fired in October and 14 other vacant positions were eliminated. The I-Team requested the records of the fired workers and found more than half were environmental specialists or engineers with 10 or more years of experience. I spoke with five of the recently fired workers. They wouldn't go on camera because they said they feared retaliation, but they all told me the same story as Koletsky. The DEP is now weaker and less effective at doing its job. Anything that they can do to increase business, they will do, and the environment is secondary. Jerry Phillips is the director of public employees for environmental responsibility. He blames Governor Scott for cutting back on environmental regulation. What's wrong with being pro-business and reducing some of these enforcement actions and allowing businesses to operate more freely? They may have short-term growth, but what happens when ultimately we have to clean up the mess that's created? Governor Scott's office referred questions to DEP. We went to the DEP headquarters in Tallahassee, but they wouldn't speak with us on camera. They did tell us in a statement, quote, recent reorganizations within the department have been conducted after months-long assessments of procedures and processes, as well as staffing and workload levels. No programs or core functions have been eliminated, and our level of service will not be compromised. Koletsky says this isn't about cutting fat from government. It's about the long-term impact to the air and water in Florida. I'd hate to see us return to that where we have um, ozone and particulate smog levels like they have in Los Angeles. It's a tremendous impact on the children. DEP maintains despite all the job cuts, it only amounts to 1.5% of their total staff. I'm my team investigator Michael George taking action for you.